of some exciting things. We were able to install um, solar panels on both the roof here of the community center and a ground array that's um, just on the southeast side of our parking lot. So that should power up the community center for us in the future and most of the um, power and energy that we use for the 10 tiny houses that are here. A solar project was um, initiated by three high school seniors, all young ladies who um, were in a class called the Green Team. So they do green initiatives and they wrote a grant for us to the Public Service Commission and then found matching grants through Solar Moonshot the Collier, Collier Foundation and others um, for a total of about $180,000, which is the cost to put in um, these solar panels. We so, are like the new green team, but the green team um, before us did a big project with solar um, and they wrote the PSC grant to be able to put solar panels on Hope Village. So that was kind of their project. So the Hope project came from the previous green team. So they're, um, it's a two year cycle with the green team. So they basically have two years to choose a project and um, and hopefully make it come to fruition before they graduate. Um, and the current project at Hope is, I mean, I think next week, I just got an email, they're gonna start putting the panels on. So it's actually post graduation, but everything was lined up and ready to go for the other green team mm -hmm. and Hope. Um, because of who they served, sort of met the needs of what the EIGP, the PSC grant was looking for. Mm -hmm. And so they they went to Hope and they got bids and um, they kind of, the project ended up doing two things for Hope. One, the solar panels that they're putting up will produce enough energy or electricity to completely make the Hope Community Center as well as the 11 tiny homes off grid. So that all the energy throughout the year should be able to run just from the panels. More importantly, they put battery backup systems in the basement of Hope. So if it was an extended energy outage, all of the people at Hope would still have access to warm showers, electricity, um, because in the battery during the day can charge up and then at night. So it's continually being able to, to use that system. Well, not only did they write the grant so that that can be done at no cost to Hope Village, but they figured that over the lifetime of the solar panels, which is at least 30 years, we'd save about $380,000 in electric costs.